YouTube, welcome back to another video of Clash Royale. Today we are at nine grand challenge wins, and hopefully we can get this last one in. We are currently to 11 wins, two losses, so with that being said, let's hopefully win this one match and get that 10 badge GC win. Hopefully, we'll get there. You may notice there is no face cam today. That's just because, that's just because I was been just chilling in my room playing this grand challenge, and I got pretty close to the end, and I decided, hey, let's just record it. Okay, there we go. It took a while. Now against Nacho, he's a top 16 player in the global turning. We'll see how this goes. We're just gonna play it safe, play it slow, try to cycle to our pump without aggravating him. He has been aggravated, so we'll just defend it, and then we'll place on our own pump. Hopefully. I'll put it in the middle in case he's running. Does he have magic armor? Okay. <gasps> he's running graveyard, which means I can use Mother Witch potentially and get a bunch of piggies. He has four cards into his next poison. I'm going to count his poison. Three cards to his next poison. Ah, dang it. That's unfortunate. It take damage. I'm not going to show my Mother Witch until, um, you know, it's, he places a graveyard. He's, he's gonna find out the hard way. Uh, I lost track of poison. It's like three or two, two cards away or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, we'll just cycle to another pump and put it on the left hand side so he can't just demolish it with a poison. And that ghost should be able to connect to both of those troops. Looking wonderful for me. I'll place that pump on the right hand side. If he places graveyard, I'll be fine. All right, we'll just defend with bandit. All right, he has barbarian ba barrel back in cycle, so I'll, nope, there it is. Okay, I was gonna try to potentially reflect it, but I guess not. This deck doesn't work good against graveyard, but we'll do our best. Uh, this guy is a uh, pretty good player since he's probably at 11 wins too, so he's not gonna be ho pulling any punches, so I might as well do the same. I guess he's way into double elixir before he places uh, any graveyard so I'll just keep placing pumps down uh, maybe I should put down some three I'll put some three musketeers down here just so I uh, um, potentially bait out poison not sure if that will work but it's worth a shot okay good thing is he doesn't have tombstone tombstone is usually what uh, costs me the game in these matches since it just spawns so many skeletons which oh we got some connections here this but it turns on this place uh, spawns so many skeletons, which is bad for business for three musketeers. I need to uh, keep track of his evolved uh, knight. He is a little bit away from it, which is amazing, but we got to be careful. I think he's potentially building up a graveyard push. There we go. You can use Mother Witch, the first Mother Witch of the game. I'll reflect everything and use a monk reflection so that splash damage does not hit our tower. He uses his poison on our Mother Witch, which means we can get away with a pump. But I will get a, a dual lane push going on here. Get some stretch going on. Make him force his hand a little bit. All right, uh, and I'll put down another electric pump here. The ghost on the left hand side does connect, giving me a lot of damage. Uh, and it gives me the lead, perfect for me. Let's go. Uh, we'll just play it safe here. I don't want to push this guy. But two musketeers on the left, one on the right. I don't want any poison on that right hand tower. I think you need to be protected with his life. Oh crap. Um, Poison will take care of that, those musketeers. How unfortunate, but it is what it is. Ghost in the back, just cycling. Um, and then we'll just kite that baby dragon away. We'll just keep playing pumps down. He keeps wasting his poison, so we'll just abuse it. Okay, uh, <laughs> we'll just get a nice defense going on here. Get a bunch of piggies. I will just let the graveyard do its magic. Mother Witch is out of the poison's rage. He might survive it. But he's away from poison. He doesn't have to make animals, which forces him, or forces, yeah, he doesn't, he can't uh, split my musketeers together, which means I got a dual lane push going on. This is looking promising. His right hand side is very low. His left hand side isn't as low. I'll do, oh, I'll try and do a preemptive monk ability. However, I messed up. Um, he uses another poison, which means I could just get away with another pump. This is my last pump of this game because we have one minute on the timer, so keep that in mind. Uh, Mother Witch to defend this graveyard. And that uh, Evolved Knight might be some trouble. It's not the end of the world, though. Mother Witch is going to give me a lot of piggies, giving me a good counter offense. So let's do it. Oh, boy. It's looking kind of dicey, but it's not lost yet. He is kind of catching up, but I think we'll be fine as long as we just play it safely. Barbarian Barrel is out, so I go four cards away. I'm going to concentrate on that. Three cards away from Barbarian Barrel. Two cards away from Barbarian Barrel. 
Doesn't really matter. Monk is dead. Can't you know. Graveyard is back. I need to be careful. Good bandit connects to the tower. Give me a lot of damage. I need to protect this graveyard where I may lose the game here. But Mother Witch is giving me a lot of piggies for playing, supporting those right-hand musketeers. And we is overwhelmed. He cannot handle the blue lane push. Giving me this 12 win grand challenge, which means we basically got that nice 10 win grand challenge badge. It's amazing. I've been waiting for a year for this moment. But there we go. Our 12th grand challenge. That is amazing. Look at all these rewards. I mean, I got everything maxed, but we'll get a bunch of wild cards in return. Hopefully a champion? No legendary. It is what it is. But that is amazing. I didn't expect to win that, especially after seeing Graveyard. Graveyard hard counters me, but much of which kind of remedies that problem. That gives us 3,000 wild cards. That's cool. And let's see if we get that uh, that new badge. There we go. The level 2 Grand Challenge badge. We got 10 wins in a Grand Challenge. So 10 Grand Challenges, essentially. I'll show you guys one more match against, uh, I think he's a YouTuber, I guess, because... Um, he, he had a pretty good profile, top 16, uh, but let's watch this match just as a, for, for lasting giggles. We're going against Irgon, uh, this is a replay. So, um, I'm just gonna be like the last game, we'll play it safe, try to cycle pump. Luckily, our pump was in our next hand, which is amazing. This guy does not have a pump counter, and since, uh, I'm, I'm afraid of, um, minor, I just put pump in the middle, so, we just do that. And then I defend it, which is perfect. He does tornado it. Um, a bit unfortunate. I was thinking, oh, I wasted some elixir, but we did get an early King Tower activation against a minor wallbreaker deck, which is really outstanding. We got a slight counter offense going on and a prediction log reflection. I love it. This guy is, did get a little bit outplayed here in the beginning, giving me, giving me a huge lead. If I didn't get this lead, I honestly probably wouldn't have won the match. This lead gives me a lot of chances to apply pressure to him and he needs to defend or else he will suffer big. We do defend against his uh, push with a bandit plus zap, so that wasn't too bad. Most of my towers are pretty even right now, so I'm not really concerned on uh, chip damage, uh, especially since I have so much damage on his right hand tower. He places down a miner, which means, hey, I can't place down a pump after I defended with this ghost, so that's good. He does get a little bit damaged, but I'm not too worried right now. So let's just put down a pump right now in the middle. I put it in the middle so he does not get a miner. And if he does get a miner, he has three towers going against it. The ghost does get a hit. He did misplace his uh, tornado a little bit. Uh, he did put uh, wall breakers on the left-hand side. I'm not too concerned about chip damage, so I let one get through with a heal spirit. And I try to protect my pump from the, that miner. It was not perfect, but the pump's still alive. A bunch of firepower in the middle, so we'll get a little bit of more elixir out of that pump. The freaking evolved knight is so powerful. He shreds my ghost on my side of the arena, and I do take a lot of chip damage here. That is unfortunate. Evolved cards are just busted. They, this is just crazy. They don't need. If anything, I, in my opinion, evolved cards shouldn't have a, a, a health boost, damage boost. It just should just be solely in building. We'll do a slight defense here. Right hand side is my a priority. I let the left wall breaker get through because I can't afford it. He does get some chip damage here. Not the end of the world. But we do get Mother Witch and spawn some piggies here. Double Elixir is here, so um, I'm, it's, I'm getting ready for some uh, Stream of Skateria action. But uh, we gotta just reflect that uh, Magic Archer and counter it. And then we'll just put down some pumps, honestly. Because we don't want full pumps when we do our Stream of Skateria. It's bending the back just to counter his minor prediction right there. Wall Breakers do connect. Mitch kind of makes us even now so that's unfortunate but it's not the end of the game yet we'll put down another pump then we'll do some stream of tier actions I, I think okay i guess not <laughs> put a monk down in the back get some piggies i think from that so those goblins and he is getting a lot of damage here it's not the end of the world guys i'll put down stream of tears he does have tornado he'll try to pull them together but he was a bit a little bit too greedy and giving me st some uh, split potential so that's what we do. We split, have a split push here. Uh, Monk ability on the left-hand side will counter that Magic Archer. And give, since the Magic Archer is behind the tower, it also gives us a lot of chip damage. Sadly, the log wasn't what we needed, but there we go. The tower is so low right now, so all I needed to do is cycle from a zap. I don't really care about the price here, so I sacrifice a pump 
just to protect myself from those wall breakers. And zap is next in cycle, so we'll do a quick cycle and giving me a zap to finish off his tower and win me that game. That was my 10th game of this grand challenge. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That's this video. Um, I am so glad I finally, after a year from my first grand challenge win, I finally got the that badge wherever it's at. Oh gosh. Oh, there it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Love to see your content. Make sure you leave a like. And I'll see you guys all in the next video of Clash Royale. Bye-bye.